I've made a few improvements to the articulator. So here we see a skull and we see a few teeth. The teeth obviously don't belong to the patient, but we're going to name the upper and the lower one lower. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the upper teeth and pair with them to the upper skull. I'll take the lower teeth and pair with them to the mandible. Then we're going to import the mounting table and as you see the other teeth and objects move with it. From below I want to grab this and move it to the stopper. The stopper being this little platform over here. Then we're going to view it to the right hand side and bingo this is exactly looking good. Unhide the lower. Previously we needed to delete the table, now we can only hide it if we want to. Let's import a few two condyles. So in transparent mode in the previous version they used to be in edit mode. No longer. We can you cannot move them by using G they are stuck so that they cannot be moved into the wrong direction. Then what we're going to do is we've we've made a few arrows on the menu where we control these so clicking outwards and inwards will move these condyles. So, and then in the items menu you can see exactly how far apart these condyles actually are. Then what we're going to do is we're going to look at it from the side view and here exactly the same. Using G has no effect. Only the arrows can be used. Then what we're going to do is we're going to accept these condyle positions, the locations, and this will bring in these little blue guidance objects. And we're going to set these inclinations. Now if you know, if you know the value, put the value in. If you don't, leave it at the default 33 degrees. Then what we can do is we can set the other angle as well. So the 15 degrees default is pretty dead on. If you look at the long axis, you can change this. I'm not sure how this would affect uh, small kids, for example, but um, we're going to keep the 15 degrees. And then we click on copy location and then at the white um, object TMJ copies to it. So let us um, open up the constraints and animate the jaw. So here we've got the open, open, uh, we can open by keying in or sliding the um, rotation X. Let's set this to five, to five degrees. So this is just an arbitrary value that I've used. And then if I open up the timeline, we can see it move. Then I'm going to do the protrusive and then close the bite as well a little bit. If these were the patient's teeth, we could set it exactly into the wear facets. And then apply the keyframe and the animation has been set. Then let us look from the side view and you can see how the jaw moves down. Setting the, um, the excursive right movement, we're going to set a Bennett side shift. Now the Bennett side shift is around one to two millimeters, I believe, and this will then shift the side outwards. So here it's a negative value minus one, and then I'm going to set, rotate the jaw a little bit to the right hand side, and we're going to close it. If you do, now these are teeth from a tooth library, so you can see the interference. We could possibly cut these with the articulator if we wanted to, or we could go into edit mode. If we are setting up teeth like for a denture, for example, we can we can move the teeth accordingly. It's, it's exactly what we do in the lab when we, we're working with dentures, for example, we just reset the teeth. Here I'm going to do the excursive left side and we're going to set the Bennett movement and move the, the jaw a little bit and set it open or closed a little bit as well and apply the keyframe. Then let us see, this completes the animation. Let's play the animation, opening and closing the jaw. 
the little front piece is the incisal pin and that equates to a dental articulator. You can see that it's between 0 and 10, so this is 10 millimeters opened up in articulator terms. So from the, from the patient's right hand side, the point of rotation is exactly where the, the TMJ and eminence are. And then moving it forward, it slides down exactly down that angle. So the excursive movements, moving down on one side and shifting gently across in the Bennett one millimeter side shift as it as a jaw moves into excursive movement. And the other side, we can see how it moves down. And again, Bennett side shift as it's moving down the condyle on the other side. And that's all folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye.